Welcome to life. Glory be to God that I'm able to come across your way again. I believe the Lord has been very good to you. Today, I want to use an African proverb to talk to us. An African proverb has it that no matter how terrific or horrific the roaring of a lion may be, it can never kill a game or it can never kill an animal. This is a loaded statement. We all know how horrific, terrific a lion's roar is. But if a lion stops at just roaring, roaring, it can never, never kill any animal. So if a lion is roaring against you, you should not lose your sleep. You should not die out of heart attack because of the roaring of a lion. What does this mean? It means that no matter how heavily equipped, it doesn't matter how an individual may brag concerning what he or she has as weapons of war or as resources with which the fellow can use it against you. Without putting that thing into use, it will never cause any harm. It will never cause any damage. It will never work against you. So if you are anointed and you don't make use of the anointing that God has given you, it is useless. If you are loaded with money, with resources, and you don't apply them, you don't use them, it is useless. So the roaring of a lion can never kill a bird can never kill a game, can never kill any animal. You are to make use of what you have received if you want to have victory at all in life. A story is told about King Asa, the king of Judah, who the king of Ethiopia, Zera, came against in battle. Asa had from both Judah and Benjamin 580,000 soldiers. Meanwhile, King Zera of Ethiopia had 1 million soldiers and 300 chariots, meaning 1 million 300 forces against the 580,000 that Judah had or King Asa had. What did Asa do? Of course, this number of soldiers that this king of Ethiopia had was like the roaring of a lion. He may have thought within himself that with this number, we would just overrun Judah, we'll overrun King Asa and all of his soldiers. But that was not the case. I read from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 14. And I will read verse 11. But you can read from verse 8 to capture what I have just said. But in verse 11, this is what Asa said. Bible says, And Asa cried out to the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing for you to help, whether with many or with those who have no power. Help us, O Lord, our God, for we rest on you, and in your name we go against this multitude. O Lord, you are our God. Do not let man prevail against you. Asa turned the case over to God, and that was it. King Zerah and the whole of his troop from Ethiopia were defeated in that battle. Remember, Brother, sister, the roaring of a lion cannot kill any animal. No matter what has come against you, prepare yourself, go to God, call on him. He is God and he answers prayers. God bless you.